Hey folks, it's right before the new year. I'm out doing a run. It's been a while since I've been out here, so a little bit out of shape, but I want to talk to you guys about some things that I'm noticing. So it's about 50 degrees outside, so you got to be really dedicated to be out here running and everything like that. I was out on this run. I saw a couple other runners out there. They definitely are in a lot better shape than me, and so those are the people that put in the work all the time. They don't let anything get in the way, hinder them, or anything like that. And so a lot of people are thinking, oh, New Year's trying to get in shape. These other people out here running, they're always in shape, and they're not going to have any problems when it's Memorial Day trying to go to the pool or anything like that because they've been working at this process very, very, very long time. And it's not just some type of New Year's resolution out there that they're trying to do. I want to also talk to everybody who's pre-med, working on getting into medical school and some of the things that you need to be aware of that kind of ties into this thing about this exercise running or doing whatever type you need to do to stay in shape and stay fit and so it's right after the holidays so that means most people are on winter break some type of break from school they might be home they might be on vacation and they're having conversations with their parents about what are the next steps how did the semester go what do you need to do next and everything like that and so sometimes those conversations be great if you're doing well academically and if you're not doing so well academically that might not be a conversation that you're ready to have right now and what's very interesting about that process is that in the last couple of days, my email inbox has been flooded with parents who are concerned about their kids and their chances for getting into medical school. They want to set up some meeting, set that consultation, or get some advice on what are the next steps their kid can do or what they can do because they're very, very concerned about this process of getting into medical school. And I'm telling you, these aren't just like run-of-the-mill kids like, oh, they messed up in the process. No. I'm talking about students. One kid had a 518 MCAT score and got in. I'm not sure if you get maybe one or two um, interview invites and, and otherwise nothing from there. Another student, the parent said that they were in the 99th percentile on the MCAT with that and then they had a 3.95 gpa and they've been waitlisted at the only place they got interviews so i think they're on three wait lists and the parents concerned because they know that we're approaching january and they applied and they're just concerned about this process and that's what i drill in the students and i need to tell you guys Getting into medical school is extremely, extremely competitive. 60% of first-time applicants to medical school, they're going to be rejected. And everybody thinks it's not going to happen to me, but it happens to people. And you need to be aware and prepared for that. And the one parent was like, I thought they had a great um, GPA and they had a great MCAT score. So I don't know what the problem is. And here I need to tell you guys. The MCAT and your GPA just get you in the door. That just puts you past the first cut. Now you're competing with everybody else who has similar or even better MCAT and GPA scores, and you have to figure out how you're going to distinguish yourself from everybody else who's just as equally or even more qualified than you for getting into medical school. And that's what people don't understand about the process. If you have a system in place for getting past that, then things can work out to your advantage and you'll actually do well in that process of getting into medical school. Now, I see this happening over and over where this scenario where these parents contacting me, I know it happens every year. I have students who um, decide to do things on their own and they don't get in. Or I follow up with them, like, oh, hey, what happened? I know you didn't want to move along or anything like that. So what ended up happening? Oh, well, I uh, didn't get into any medical schools, so I'm going to be going to Europe and going to medical school over there because I found a good medical school over there. You do not want to be in that situation, guys. That's just not something you want to do because you're going to be a foreign medical graduate. It's going to be hard to get a residency when you come back to the United States. So it's all about planning and preparing ahead of time. And so here's the deal. We got about six months or so until medical school applications open up. 
and you guys need to do things to position yourself for success. Just like I was telling you about those runners, those joggers, and everybody else who's exercising now, who's been doing it all year long. That's what you need to be doing. And you can't just go about this process haphazardly and think that you know what you can do or, oh, I'll just go to the Student Doctor Network or I'll find some people on Reddit and they'll give me advice. They have no vested interest in your ability and chances of getting into medical school. So I would not trust some random stranger on online. And also what I've heard is that some people actually give you false information, false advice, because they want to get into medical school and they don't want you to get into medical school. So they'll tell you the wrong things and that's going to really hurt your chances. And so what I want to do, what I want to share with you guys today is that I am doing something that hasn't been done before, or at least not by me. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do something that's going to take you from having no chances, having some pitfalls that can totally derail your chance of getting into medical school, and putting you on the other side. I want you to think about you're standing on a cliff. On the other side of that cliff is medical school, becoming a doctor, white coat, MD, stethoscope, DO, whatever type of doctor you want to be. However, you got this big cliff that you got to get over. Some of you guys think, oh, I'll just build a bridge to get across to the other side with MCAT score and GPA and maybe a couple extracurriculars. However, as you can see, that's not enough. That bridge is going to get you across. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom, the castle. I'm going to help you get to the promised land because I'm going to do something. It's called the pre-med to MD Masterclass. So in six weeks, I'm going to totally transform you. I'm going to take you from one of those pre-med students who's out there asking, what are my chances to becoming the must admit medical school applicant, the one ACOMs are drooling over, the ones where you're getting multiple substances, where you're then in a problem where you're like Dr. Spears, which medical school do I attend? I have too many offers. That's what we want to do for you. I don't want to see you going overseas. I don't want to see you applying again. And I don't want, and you probably don't want, your parents sending me an email one year from now saying, I don't know what happened to Johnny. I don't know what happened to Susie. I thought we were on the path to getting into medical school. And now we're up a creek without a path. And we don't know what to do. So if you want to change that, if you want something to happen for you, I want you to use the next six weeks working with me. And we're going to totally rewrite your future and put you on a path that's practically guaranteed to get you into medical school. This is more than just... MCAT and GPA, that's just the starting ground. That's, God, you guys don't even know what I have for you that's going to get you across that finish line and get you where you need to be. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then I want you to go ahead, click on a URL link, take a look at what I got for you, and I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised at all the things you never knew were possible on what you need to be doing, how you need to be doing it, when you need to be doing it, so that you can walk away from the medical school application process happy, glad, excited, and knowing that that dream came true where you're on your way to becoming a doctor. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and click the link down below. And this is Dr. Spears with drpremed.com. I look forward to seeing you guys in the master class. We're starting up in January. Great things are about to happen for you. Take care and enjoy.